In one of the early videos in this series, you heard all about the concept of the talking head. The talking head is when you stand in the middle of the frame and you essentially talk to the camera. The reason this doesn't work is because people don't want to stare at a head who's not moving for 20, 30, 40 minutes. Well, this video is all about taking that a step further. And it's not just about not putting yourself in the middle, but it's about using your entire zoom space. Most folks mistakenly believe that you have to stay right here in the middle of the frame. And that's not true. Now, de depending on how much space you have where your camera is set up, you are somewhat limited. So it's not like you have as much area or room that you do on a live stage, but the camera does allow you to move in several directions. You can go to the right, you can go to the left, you can go forward, you can go backwards. How can this help you in your presentations? Well, we teach on stage to give timelines, for example. So when you go back in time, you want to go to your audience's left. This denotes that you're going back in time. As you progress to the present, you go in this direction. You can also do the same thing going front to back. You can go back to denote you're back in time. You can step forward for the present. You can also step back to denote a negative feeling. Well, say you're going through a tough time in life, so you can come back here and say, you know, I was depressed, I was down, uh, I had no hope, but then I had this amazing experience and my life got better. And you can start moving closer and closer to the camera to where you get very close. So don't think you're limited by the camera where you have to stand here. You still have some space to work with. Uh, the further back you can go, the more space you'll have to go from left to right also. Uh, there's a terrific example of this. It was the 2020 world champion of public speaking through Toastmasters International. A gentleman's name is Mike Carr, terrific speaker. And he uses the, the camera frame better than anyone I've seen. In fact, he set a trend. I know in the upcoming contest, there are going to be people mimicking what he did, but he was the first. Uh, notice how Mike starts his, his speech off where he's in the lower left-hand corner. And he didn't do that just for effect. He did it because he started off the speech as a little kid. And it was a great visual interpretation. And then he stood up and he was an adult. So take a look at that as a great example. But ask yourself, how can I be different on camera? How can I not just look like everyone else? How can I use all of my space even though I'm on camera? Look forward to talking with you in tip number 30.